Hey guys, this is Billy from AdultCello.com and today I want to review the Accord Standard Cello Case. So, I just got this cello case um, to accompany my new cello I got in Italy. Accord is one of the top name brands for cello cases and what they're really known for is having really, really light cases that are also very, very protective. And I also know that there's a lot of kind of top performers who use Accord cases and they, you know, a lot of these players have truly priceless, you know, old Italian instruments and they trust the chord to take care of them. The chord case is in the higher price range, you know, that end of the spectrum, along with Brock case, which was my previous case, and, you know, companies like BAM. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, so let's just do a quick rundown of specs. So I went ahead, I got myself the Accord, the standard case. This is the best ratio, they said, of weight versus strength. So it's lightweight, but incredibly strong. They have a lighter version that's a little less strong protection-wise, and they have a more robust version that's a little more protective, but a little heavier. And I got the medium model because the large model is more for like Montagnana style cellos that are, you know, just really wide. The weight is about 5.75 pounds, which is jaw-droppingly light. <laughs> And the dimensions, okay, so I went ahead and measured it because I've seen it printed in, in different places with different numbers. So just with a tape measure, um, standing like it is now, it's uh, 52 and a half inches. And then where it's widest across the lower C bouts, I measured 18 inches. And then if you sit, if you lie it down flat on its back to the point where the bridge is, which is the, the highest it goes, that's 12 and a half inches. Material, it's a carbon fiber cello case, and it has seven clasps. It has a leather handle to, for, for carrying, and it also came with backpack straps that hook onto a D-ring in the back. It has an internal pouch for you know extra strings, mutes, that kind of thing, and it has adjustable cushioning so that you can kind of customize the cushioning to fit your particular cello. It also has adjustable pads on the bottom that help you, you know, have the padding meet right up to the bottom of the cello, so that's a snug fit. Um, it also comes in custom colors, which is something I took advantage of. I'll talk more about that. Just keep in mind that it takes about six to eight weeks uh, for custom colors. The cello cases are handmade in Croatia. And finally, so if we're talking about price, which I think most people are curious about, if you buy it through a U.S. vendor, it's probably going to be somewhere in the 2800 to 2900 range. Since I was picking my cello up in Italy, I went ahead and bought it off their website and just had it shipped to the address in Italy where I was. So that way I was able to pay the price on the website, which was 2290 euros. So let's just move on to overall impression. I've had it for about a week now. I love it. I really do. I love the color I picked. I love how light it is. It feels great wearing it as a backpack. Uh, it just fits really comfortably, it, you know, just ergonomically works out great. And it's just a pleasure to use. It looks really sleek and elegant. I'm, this sounds so lame, but like when I like leave the house, it's like a little extra swag, swagger, because it just, I just feel like it, it looks really nice. And my cello, definitely feels very safe inside of it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna run down a few more categories for the review, and I'm gonna talk about the Accord case and then kind of compare it to my previous case, which was the Brock cello case. Let me just throw it out there. I also recommend the Brock case. Just keep in mind that these are both incredible options for, for a cello. First thing, and this, which actually makes quite a big deal for cellos is the backpack straps that it comes with. I prefer Accord's backpack straps. It's got a little more cushion. It, it comes with this kind of like just a, a slight cushioning here and using it, I find it's very comfortable. So in terms of comfort and appearance, again, another thing was just a kind of elegant, sleek design of the Accord case I'm a huge fan of. I've already been using it, you know, multiple times in and out of the car. It fits beautifully in the back seat. It's just easier to handle and it's lighter too. Compared to the Brock case, I, I have to say it's noticeably lighter. And I should say also that Brock cases are known to be pretty light. And this case is noticeably lighter, like much, much lighter. Let me just show you these two. I mean, I think probably, especially when I do kind of a side profile, visually you can just tell <laughs> this is much slimmer. So just to compare, like one a measurement I did just out of curiosity was like this 
kind of narrowest part of the neck. The Accord case came in at 15 inches around and the Brack was 20 and a half inches. So that's just an indicator of how much slimmer this one is. Finally, just a quick word on custom colors. I went with one, this is called Window Gray. I love it and I'm thrilled because it was kind of, you know, a gamble a little bit. If you go on their website, they have just kind of a PDF you can open up and it's just swatches of, I don't know, a couple hundred different colors you can pick. It was a little intimidating because I, you know, cello cases are really big and you take this little color swatch and that maybe it looks good on its own and then if you magnify it, it could be possibly kind of grotesque depending on <laughs> what your taste is. What I did just as like a personal tip, I went on like Instagram and, and you know, social media and found customer photos so that I could kind of see the case and the color but in kind of natural setting with natural lighting. A couple colors I initially had picked looked amazing to me and then they were like way too green or like way too bright. So this one looked good in the photo and then when I got it, uh, I was thrilled because it was kind of what I was hoping for. So in terms of materials and protectiveness, this is a carbon fiber case. You'll find that when you open it up, so I, I'm just barely jiggling it with my hand and, and the whole case is kind of flexing like this. That's a, you know, an aspect of carbon fiber, but when it's put together and closed up, it's incredibly, like it's got a lot of structural integrity and it's inc incredibly rigid and durable. All right, so let me just kind of get up for a second and bring this to you because I want you to see how incredibly thin the shell is because that was the other thing that struck me about the construction. You can probably, yeah, as you can see here, I mean, it's, it's just not paper thin, but it is incredibly thin. There's some, ins, you know, then insulating material here on the inside, but that's part of the reason it just, at first it's a little unnerving because you're like, wow, this kind of seems flimsy to be honest. And then you, you know, you put it together and once, once it's snapped in together, it's incredibly strong and feels super, super solid. So as I said, this is a carbon fiber case and that's in opposition to usually kind of like ABS plastic, like a plastic shell that's much more rigid and usually much easier to kind of put together. This case takes a little bit of getting used to because it's so like flimsy when you're closing it, it can be a little hard to like line things up if the case is standing. I figured out kind of my little system I'm gonna use to do that, but at first it was a little like, Ugh, is this thing even working? It's perfect. What they, what they said to do, I emailed them and they said, the best way to just ensure that it's simple is you just lie it on its back flat and then you just close it and that lines the shell up more easily. I'm, I'm gonna just figure out how to do it standing because that's just kind of like <laughs> how I'm gonna be using the case in the future. So. Um, it's not that hard, but it is something that you might notice if you get it. So basically what I'm what I'm saying here with the material and protectiveness This is in my opinion This seems as protective or more so than a plastic shell But there's a trade-off the trade-off is that it's gonna feel a little flimsy and maybe a little Awkward closing it until you get used to it. The trade-off is it's incredibly light I mean crazy light and for me that's worth the trade-off so let me just talk for a brief moment about how the cello fits into the case. It was a little snugger than I expected, even after moving the padding around. So I actually emailed them and sh with pictures, they got back to me, they said, it looks good, it looks snug. So that's one thing I, right off the bat I noticed is that the cello fits snugly into the case, even more so than say uh, my Brock case. As I mentioned before, this has padding that's kind of very adjustable. I really like that aspect because you can kind of figure out exactly where it needs to go to, to cradle the instrument. And, and that's kind of the, the goal of the case is to cradle it so that it's not ever touching the shell and so that it can absorb some impact and not transfer it directly to the instrument. So what I found was by moving things around, I got a really snug fit that, that where it sits really comfortably into the cushioning, but it, you know, it seems, not like it's rubbing up against the case at all. I just want to say there are a few things I would change or add if I had my you know wish list. One thing I love about the Brock case I was using is it has a secondary handle. So here, as I mentioned, we have this handle, this like one primary handle, which feels very secure. It's it's really well made, but it's missing a handle 
kind of on this shoulder like the Brock has. And I found that that handle is especially helpful for kind of guiding the cello elegantly and not bumping into things like out of a car or any kind of narrow space. It's just nice to have two handles because sometimes you want to pull it out from, from like from the head like this. The other thing I would add if I had my way, um, the, as I mentioned, I, the backpack straps for the Accord case are great and they're very comfortable. I don't see any, they didn't come with any like security cables though. That I would like to see because, you know, it's, it just takes like the, this thing, this thing to get pressed in the wrong way and your backpack strap could get completely dislodged. So here's my wife's violin case. It's from Gaba and it came with these kind of security cables. So just in case the strap gets like, you know, dislodged or whatever, it'll at, it'll at least get caught by the cable so that your case doesn't just kind of like fly off your shoulder, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some. They're not super expensive, but it would have been nice to have them included. So there you go, there's a review of my new Accord case. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this, found it helpful, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.